guys, welcome to our campus tour video. <laughs> my name is V and my major is biology and I intend on becoming a dentist in the future. Hi, I'm Malaysia. I'm a freshman, my major is biology, and my career goal is to become an OBGYN. Hi, my name is Jolyn Tran. I am majoring in biology as well, and my career goal is to do some research in biology. Hi, my name is Leilani, and my major is biology, and my career goal, I'm not sure about yet, but I'll figure it out down the road. And welcome to our campus tour video. Hi, I am here with Kaylin, and Kaylin, you want to tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, my name is Kaylin. I am a Georgia State University student. I am a junior and my major is early childhood education. I've been working here for a year now, so. And uh, we're here at the University Bookstore, just in case you guys didn't know. Um, and what are your hours of operation? Monday through Thursday, we're open 7.30 to 6.30. And then on Friday, we're open from 7.30 to 5.00. All right, and what kind of services do you guys do for the students here? Uh, we have textbooks, we sell apparel, merchandise, um, we sell gift accessories, water bottles, tassels, stuff for game day, and we also sell technology, headphones, computers, scantrons, everything. <laughs> oh, so yeah. Yeah, well, you guys might want to come down here and check it out. Hi guys, I'm at Sparks Hall, and this is where you can ask about your financial aid loans and registration for any of your classes. So it's located at classroom 251. As you can see right now it's closed but it's open from Mondays to Fridays from 8.30 a.m. to 5.15 p.m. Hey guys, we're here at the Student Government Association. It's located on the fourth floor of Student Center West. Here we have Samantha Thompson, Administrative Coordinator for SGA. Okay, um, Ms. Samantha, what hours of operation are here? Our office is open between 8.30 a.m. to 5.15, Monday through Friday. And what services do you provide for the students? SGA offers free testing materials to students, so you can come by and get your blue books, green Scantron, or blue Scantron. We also copy for organizations up to 50 pages, or for an individual student, 25 pages. We do faxing, and I'm a notary, so that's a new service we're offering to students. Well, the Student Government Association serves a lot of services here. Um, also, SGA is a voice for the students. Can you explain more on how that works? Sure, SGA is the department that's ran by students and it's available for students to come to and seek advocacy from their president, their executive vice president, or the senators of their school. If you have any concerns, needs, or requests that you want to be heard by the administration, come to the SGA. Okay, thank you. If you have any concerns, desires, or needs, just come here and this is like a voice for us to make change. I'm here with um, my name is Mariana Ortiz and why do you think it's very important that women know about the Lambda Theta Alpha out here? Okay so I think it's really important for uh, women to know about Lambda Theta Alpha because it is the first Latin sorority in the nation. We were founded at Keenan University in 1975. Uh, we're an academic sorority which sets us apart from like a lot of different other sororities. We, uh, academics are very important to us and we always push our sisters to do better. Um, and we're also like really embedded in like community service and political activism and always making sure our community advances. How do, how do students here get involved? Where, where can we contact you? Okay, so you guys can contact us at um, lta.deltabeta at gmail.com. Um, if you guys like want to learn more about us, we also have our Instagram so you guys can see us and it's at lta underscore delta beta. So yeah. Is it just for Latin Americans or is it like open for everyone? So we are Latin by tradition, not by definition. Um, we have sisters from 109 different nationalities and from different uh, political um, beliefs, so sexual orientations, and different things like that. Thank you so much. You guys, make sure you check out Lemba Theta Alpha. Hey guys, I'm here outside in the rec center. So they did not let us film inside the rec center, but there is a lot of opportunities here for students as there are from different free activities and you can do from classes to like Zumba to cycling. And I've been to some of those, the HIIT or the HIT program, I've done that and it's really, really fun. And it gives you a really work, good workout and you get really sore, obviously. And there's also indoor basketball courts that you can come and play and hoop, you know. There's an indoor track uh, top of the basketball courts. 
There are also martial arts that you can pay for, swimming classes that you can pay for from beginner to really, really advanced for only $20, which is a good deal, I would say. Um, I'm in the Lotus Self-Defense, which is really fun. Then you join, also $20, and it teaches you really stuff that you can use to defend yourself if you ever need it. Um, there's a lot of programs and clubs and tramurals that you can do from rowing to paintball club. It's really fun. You should join and come check out the rec center. Hi, I'm at the Multicultural Center and I'm with... Dr. Coleman. What services do you provide students? Uh, we provide many services including um, multicultural education around um, developing skills for cultural competence. Um, we offer programming around uh, Heritage Month celebrations. Um, we offer community building support through our uh, community uh, hours, our uh, community connections mentoring initiative, um, and we also offer uh, programming uh, and services um, through our um, uh, trainings and workshops like our uh, safe zone workshops and our bias and bystander prevention workshops. Um, we also offer a, a library of cultural resources that um, any student on campus can check out with their Panther ID. Um, and so there may be some books and um, videos and, and activities that relate to diversity that you might find useful for some of your classes. And so you can definitely come and check those out. We also offer um, uh, conference rooms that you can reserve for studying and, um, and, and meetings with student organizations. Uh, we offer student organization support through our Multicultural Programming Council. Uh, and we also offer funding to support um, initiatives that relate to diversity. So uh, we offer quite a few um, opportunities. We do have students working in our office as work-study students, and, um, and so we offer that as a, another opportunity for students to connect with us. What are your hours of operation? Our hours of operation are Monday through Friday, 8.30 to 5.15 p.m. Thank you for your time. Hey you guys, we're here at Piedmont North. It's one of the freshmen's dorms here at Georgia State. Um, it consists of two buildings, it has A building and B building. Um, we also have 1,200 residents that live here and I'm one of those residents. It has double and triple shared rooms. And A building opened up in 2011, B building opened up in 2010. This is the lobby. Hi, I'm with Lakeisha. What is the purpose of the Dean of Students? So we handle conduct issues. So if you're in trouble on campus, or especially in housing, you would come here. Um, and obviously, you would be dealt with consequences for whatever actions had taken place. And then we also do the emergency withdrawal. So if you cannot voluntarily withdraw from your courses after the midpoint, and you've had an emergency situation that's causing you to need to um, Put a hold on school right now then you would come here to get that approved and go through that process we also do student advocacy and outreach what are the um hours of the office of the dean of students so this office as well as every other office on campus is open from 8 30 a.m to 5 15 p.m so if you are at risk of being um, homeless then we can obviously find you a shelter and if you need toiletries or food or anything like that we can um, direct you to the panther pantry which is located in urban life on the parking level hi guys so i'm here in Patton hall which is one of the dorms here for freshmen and this is where i stay there is about 325 residents staying here currently and there are six floors here. So now I'm gonna show you what a single bedroom has and what a double bedroom has because you can have a roommate or you can choose to live by yourself like I do.
guys, I'm here. I'm out here at the Org Fair. Can you guys tell me a little bit about yourselves? I am Dante. I am the president of the Left at GSU. Hey, I'm Susan. I'm the vice president of the Left at GSU. Can you guys tell me a little more about the Left here at Georgia State? So the Left at GSU is a political organization, although it's catered to people who would consider themselves on the political left. Uh, we want to have a myriad, a myriad of people involved in our organization to have in-depth conversations about various political topics, everything ranges from cultural issues, uh, social, political issues, and international issues as well. Why do you guys think that it's important for us to be aware of the political issues that's going on in our world today? So we think it's important because a lot of these issues impact a lot of Georgia State students. We have a very diverse student body. So our goals for the most part are number one, to understand, to have these discussions, to understand how our students, how the students, um, how, like the, their stance on these issues. Also to like bring awareness to these issues because like I said earlier, these issues impact a lot of our Georgia State students. And third, to build like a stronger bond between the city of Atlanta and Georgia State. Guys, make sure you come out. It's very important that you go to check out the left because even if you don't have a political view, it's just great to be in the know. Thank you guys so much. Hey guys, we're here at Piedmont Central. It's one of the newest dorms here at Georgia State. It opened up in August of 2016. Piedmont Central also has one of the biggest dining halls here at Georgia State. It's 24 hours, Monday through Thursday, and Friday through Sunday is from 11 to 9. We also have 12 floors here at Piedmont Central, with each floor having a different room for the students, which could be a study room, a flex room, an exercise room, or a music room. It has about 1,200 residents here, and they also either have a private room or it's a shared room, with each one of them having their own bathroom. Hi, we're at the Leadership Development Office, which is located on the fourth floor of Student Center West. I am with Audrey Irons. So what are the hours of operation? The hours of operation here are Monday through Friday from 8.30 to 5.15. So what services do you provide students? Um, the services we provide for students, um, we offer leadership programs, we oversee the student organizations and the Greek organizations as well. How can students be more involved? Well, what students can do is drop by our office. We're located at Student Center West in room 475, and they can learn about the various programs um, by coming in and talking to us or going online and um, logging into PIN under student organizations, and that way they can view all of the student organizations we have. We have currently over 400 student organizations, and they have categories from everything from accounting to dancing, um, just about anything of that nature. So you can go to this office to find programs related to leadership skills and it will help students to apply them to future jobs and all. Uh, yes, I would say that um, one of our main goals here is to um, encourage students to come in and take advantage of the leadership programs in order for them to learn the necessary skills for them to be effective leaders both on and off campus. Um, we have learned from various employers that basically what they want students to have when they come out of college is um, leadership uh, skills. So we try to fill that void by offering students to get involved with the various leadership programs that we have here. What is this? Wow, I've never seen this before. Oh, it's the Panther Club, guys. Come on, let's go. All right, so looks like we have a lot of good good food to eat in here. It's a, a separate dining place. It doesn't really go into the meal plan for people who dorm here, but you guys can use your Panther Cash. And it's really quick grab and go food. It's not very crowded. And one of the perks is right here on campus. You don't have to go back to your dorm just to go grab something to eat. And this is really amazing. Like we just stumbled into here on our little adventure around campus and we just found this place. Let's see what they got. It looks like pasta. It's pasta. All right, we got sandwiches and soup over here. Let's look at the sandwiches. Okay, okay, fresh stuff. 
some lettuce over here, some cheese. Ooh, the southern food. That chicken look good, y'all. That chicken is amazing. Can you get a shot of that camera woman? Okay, I think that's it for our Panther Club, guys. Make sure you come down and check it out. We're gonna keep on at, at uh, adventuring, exploring this campus. Hi guys, so I'm here at Cinefest, and if you didn't know, GSU has a theater here for GSU students that is free for all students, and then if you bring a guest, it's $5. So if you have special someone, bring them here. Snacks are also cheap, from what I hear. And I'm here with... Teacher. And what are the hours of operation here? One and until the last showing, and the last showing varies every week because of the different movies. Okay, what type of movies are there for students? Recently released films that have been in the theater. So, for example, this week is Jurassic World. Next week we'll be doing Incredibles 2. And then some other ones that we have in the future will be The First Purge, as well as The Crazy Rich Asians. If I, yes, that's also another one. All right, and what type of snacks do you provide for students or do you sell? Just your regular concessions that you'll have in any other movie theater, except for we don't charge you $7 for a popcorn. All right, thank you. And that is all we have for right now. Hey guys, I'm here at Career Services and I'm with Angel Walker. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself, Angel? I am a sophomore here at Georgia State, majoring in computer science. Um, I started working here at Career Services last September, so I've been here almost a year. Wow. How did you get involved with them? Um, I went to the part-time job fair that they mm -hmm. held in August of last fall and interviewed, so I got it. Um, congratulations. Um, what are the hours of operation here at the Career Services? We're open 8.30 to 5, though our drop-in times is 11 to 3, Tuesday through Friday. And what kind of career services do you guys provide for the students? We provide resume review, cover letter review. Um, you can come in and talk to a career counselor about graduate school, internships, part-time jobs, anything like that. Guys, make sure you come down here for career services and thank you so much for your time. Hi, I'm at the Civic Engagement Office and I'm with Lavelle Lemons, Director of Office Civic Engagement. What is the purpose of this office? So our office, we connect Georgia State students, faculty and staff to the greater Atlanta community. We give them an opportunity to work with nonprofits and to give back and to apply what they're learning in the classroom. How can students get more involved? Students can either go on OrgSync and peruse the different opportunities that are available for them to serve, or students can come to our office and we'll be happy to work with them and help them identify a service project. And what are your hours of operation? So we operate, we, our hours are 8.30 to 5.15, Monday through Friday. So I'm here in Black Student Achievement Office, and I'm here with... Mike Kimball. And... What is the purpose of Black Student Achievement? Sure, so um, first and foremost, our programming, um, academic initiatives, academic support, all of it is centered around kind of the achievement and progression of the black students or the students that identify as black on campus. But I think one common misconception is that all of our programming and initiatives are just for black students, but it's not. I think that's our target, that's the lens that we look, th look through in order to, to facilitate these initiatives. But they're open to any fee-paying student at Georgia State. All right, so what services do you provide for the students? Absolutely. Um, first and foremost is the academic support. Um, so from we offer free tutoring for students that may need supplemental instruction in math, science, business-related courses, social sciences as well. Uh, we offer free GRE prep, for, so if you're thinking about grad school, mm -hmm. um, if you're thinking about law school, we offer free LSAT prep as well. Um, programming, we have social and cultural programming all throughout the semester, uh, fall and spring, um, and then also academic, not academic, advising in general. So we advise 13 student organizations that all have a black affinity to them. They're directly advising our office, so they use our space for meetings, um, different events, um, not just our space, but they can use it at their leisure. 
Okay, and what are your hours of operation and how can they contact you? Sure, uh, so we're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5.15 p.m. Um, and we also have some events that may spill over past uh, regular operating hours, but those are normal hours. And you can contact us on uh, Instagram, so Black Student Achievement, GSU Black Student Achievement on Instagram. Our website is blackstudentachievement.gsu.edu, or you can also visit our space. We're located in Student Center East, Suite 300. Hey guys, we're here at the University Commons. It's one of the upperclassmen dorms here at Georgia State. It consists of four buildings, ranging from eight to 15 stories. They're all apartment style units, so they consist of, of fully equipped kitchens and living rooms. It hosts about 2,000 residents. Hey guys, we're here at the University Lofts. It's one of the upperclassmen dorms here at Georgia State. It's also one of the very unique dorms here because they're loft style with concrete floor plans and exposed ductwork on the ceilings. It hosts about 550 residents here and their apartment style units. It can range from one, two, three to four bedrooms. They're on um, full living room and kitchen in all the apartment style dorms. Hey guys, I'm here at the library and if you didn't know, it has five floors and the first floor being the loudest, the fifth floor being the quietest and there is a police that will kick you out in the fifth floor if you're making any type of noise and you can check out books obviously and you can check out laptops to headphones to cameras or anything of that nature. So the hours of operation are as follows, Monday through Thursday from 7 a.m. to 2 a.m., Friday 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 12 p.m. to 6 p.m., and Sunday from 12 p.m. to 2 a.m. Yeah!